Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Wiz back with a real quick video. Now, if you remember in my last video, I was trying to get this here Samsung external SSD T5 to work between both my new Mac computer and my old PC computer, which I was able to get it to, you know, be able to drop files onto it using the Mac. However, I wasn't able to get past this. I will plug it up. Like I said, I was able to put files onto it, but you know, I wasn't able to show or at least have the computer show that it was actually connected. That is until now. So as you see, plugging it up right there. Ah, boom. Hit refresh. See it comes up on the side, hit refresh. And bam, we money now, we gain. So I'm gonna just really quick, briefly explain to you what you can do if you're using a Mac I'm not sure if it's for all Macs, but this is the new MacBook Pro, the one that just came out um, November 2021, the uh, M1 chip. I'm going to show you what you can do to have your MacBook recognize you know, either this SSD or if you're having problems with any SSD. So let's get into it real quick. So pretty much what I had to do is I had to take my Mac into recovery mode, which I'm going to throw up actually clips from the video that I looked at that pretty much I learned how to do it from. What you do is you shut your Mac down and you hold the button and when it boots back up, it boots up like kind of like halfway and then you go into recovery mode and you got to switch a setting. It's pretty much like a security setting. Um, it says something to the effect of, you know, do you want full security or like half security or something like that? I may be butchering that, but it's something like that. It's pretty much a security mechanism where it's not allowing all devices that like pretty much aren't Mac to show up on your computer. After you do that, you're gonna wanna go to the system preferences, and when you go to security and privacy right here, you'll see um, something that comes down here and it's gonna say, allow the Samsung device to pretty much work with your computer. So like I said, that explanation probably was butchered but don't worry about that because I'm about to go ahead and play the video it's very short it's gonna show you how to get the SSD this Samsung SSD or probably any SSD to show up on your Mac so here we go So I really hope this video was helpful. I'm glad that I'm able to get this Samsung SSD to finally be recognized by my Mac computer. So my PC is pretty much dead. Not physically, not, you know, mechanically, but I'm not gonna use the PC anymore. I got everything I need on this. If anything, I'll probably use it for extra storage. But from here on out, the Mac is going to be the producer of all my content, all my videos, anybody I do content for. We on the Mac now. So. Like I said, like this video if it helped you out. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.